Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Today in History. And let's see what happened in the world on February 14th. First off, in 1929 was the St. Valentine's Day Massacre in Chicago. Uh, and also, in 1944, Elegant Dresden Destroyed by Bombs. Dresden, one of Germany's most graceful, graceful cities, has been destroyed in a firestorm by the most destructive bombing raid in, of the war. Nearly 2,000 RAF and U.S. bombers laden with high explosives and incendiaries pounded the city mercilessly in three waves over 14 hours. Dresden was considered safe since it was not a war target and was crammed with refugees. At least 130,000 civilians died in the raid, and many more were injured. Most of Dresden's public buildings were themselves art treasures, including superb examples of 17th and 18th century Baroque and Rococo architecture, while the city's famous galleries housed major collections of the Italian, Flemish, and Dutch masters. Today, Dresden is a pile of smoking rubble. Air Chief Marshal Arthur Bomber Harris, head of the RFA Bomber Command, is facing a storm of criticism over the raid, both on humane grounds and strategical senior or allied planners wanted to attack military targets. But Harris claims his terror bombing tactics will destroy the German will to fight. Uh, and then finally we have some birthdays. First off, Christopher Scholes, who was born in 1819. He was the inventor of the typewriter. Uh, we also have Carl Bernstein, who was born in 1944, an American journalist who, with Bob Woodward, exposed the Watergate scandal that led to the resignation of President Richard Nixon in 1974. We also have Alan Parker, uh, who was also born in 1944, uh, the British film director whose films include Bugsy Malone. And finally, we have uh, the last birthday we have to share is Drew Bledsoe, a former NFL quarterback who played for the New England Patriots, as well as the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh... Bledsoe uh, was the starting quarterback for the Patriots for nine seasons, and he became the starting quarterback from his rookie season in 1993 until week two of 2001 when he, when he was injured uh, by Jets linebacker Mo Lewis, and he was eventually replaced by one of the I, who was considered the greatest quarterback in NFL history, Tom Brady. That's all for today in history. Happy Valentine's Day, and please remember to like this video, share it with your friends, comment down below, and please subscribe. I will see you next time.